Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week, we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, resources, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. Today, we're going to listen to a citizenship quiz in honor of Puerto Rico. Other quizzes for Hispanic Heritage Month have included Puerto Rican heroes such as baseball player and philanthropist Roberto Calmente, who died bringing disaster relief to earthquake victims, and Congressman Luis Gutierrez, a tireless advocate for immigration reform. Today's extra-long quiz has 25 questions featuring Columbus and the Tainu, historian Arturo Alfonso Schomburg, modern Puerto Rican politicians such as San Juan's mayor, Carmen Yulen Cruz, and musical genius Lin-Manuel Miranda. However, today's podcast is 10 questions that focuses on the life and work of one Puerto Rican, Isabel Gonzalez. Let's get started. Isabel Gonzalez was a young Puerto Rican mother and civil rights activist who paved the way for Puerto Ricans to be given United States citizenship. Question 1. What did Susan B. Anthony do? When Isabel Gonzalez traveled from Puerto Rico to New York City to join her fiancé, the authorities detained her because she was pregnant, not married, and an alien. The authorities claimed that she would become a public charge, a person who cannot support his or herself or his or her own children. Question 2. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Isabel Gonzalez appealed to the highest U.S. court. In her case, Isabel said that all Puerto Ricans were U.S. citizens, and as citizens, they should not be treated as aliens. The highest U.S. court ruled that although Puerto Ricans were not aliens, it refused to say that Puerto Ricans were citizens. Question 3. What does the judicial branch do? Question 4. What is the highest court in the United States? Isabel Gonzalez wrote many letters to the New York Times and public officials to support citizenship for Puerto Ricans. Question 5. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Question 6. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? In 1917, the U.S. Congress passed the jones shawforth Act, which conferred U.S. citizenship on all citizens of Puerto Rico, in part so that they could be drafted for military service in World War I. Question 7. Who makes federal laws? Question 8. What is one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen? Question 9. When must all men register for the Selective Service? Question 10. Who was the president during World War I? Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where you can find more resources about citizenship and Hispanic Heritage Month. While you're there, please join our mailing list and download our free PDF, Mix and Match Citizenship Interviews, 20 interviews and 40 quizzes that facilitate paired speaking practice in and outside of the classroom. Also go to eslpublishing.com to buy our new paperback edition of U.S. Citizenship Boot Camp. Thanks for listening. I know we will be a great American citizen. Viva Boricua! Thank you so much. Bye-bye.